Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to an episode of Career Mode. Now I want to say an absolutely massive thanks for the support on the last few Career Mode videos, especially the one that I uploaded, I think it was at 2am UK time, and uh, I mean that's almost on 3000 likes, so guys, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone for the support, and uh, one of the uh, coolest things is that people are now starting to say, you know, this series is starting to get, you know, better and better as it goes on, and uh, they are really starting to enjoy it quite a bit more than when I first started, and that's really cool. I really enjoy seeing that sort of stuff being said, but unfortunately, you know, conceding right at the first minute there, or well, not in the first minute, but very early on in the game, and it was actually, the, the team that I'm playing here, I believe, is in the relegation zone at the moment, so... Um, to go 1-0 down that early on to a team that's in the relegation zone was actually very worrying, but we managed to equalize, and then we fortunately managed to get an, uh, one that put us ahead there, as uh, Babel actually scored the winner there um, to make it 2-1. You know, it's not the most convincing win, but three points is three points, and uh, if anything, it just increases our gap, or our potential gap against PSV, because PSV are, you know, literally on our tails, and... Um, we do need to keep an eye out for things like that. So, uh, last episode, if you guys haven't already checked it out, I did, like I said, I uploaded it really early, so you may have missed it. I played against Borussia Dortmund, and I actually won 3-2, I believe the score was, and it was a home game. So now I had to go all the way over to um, Borussia Dortmund and go and play them away. Again, I was really nervous. And as you guys may have seen in that last game, I played Babel ahead of Rodrigo just to rest my players, or, you know, at least some of the important ones for this particular game. Um, as you can see, there is no Fisher in this game. Game. That's purely because I actually, uh, you know, the fitness sort of things, they did crop up. So he unfortunately had to stay on the bench. But um, I was uh, I was relatively confident. I was a little bit nervous the fact that they had scored two away goals. But in the 31st minute, you know, the sex god, the maestro of the team, if you will... Ericsson goes ahead and picks up the first goal and then we managed to steal him off just from inside our own half and Dumbia there Dumbia's pace is just electric the cut back in and he finishes that a very similar finish to the first goal from Ericsson and that makes it 2-0 and I honestly couldn't believe what the team was doing you know I was so very impressed with how the team was performing and just in general the how well we were doing because I in no way expected to beat Borussia Dortmund but unfortunately there the defender just predicts the wrong way and completely runs fly goes flying past the attacker there as you can see he sticks his hand up to see if he could get the offside but he was just caught a way way off but that means it was a 2-1 win and on aggregate we do go through and that is awesome you know that is really cool to go on through I believe we're going through to the semi-finals now which is just insane I think we have Barcelona oh no sorry we're we're going through to the quarterfinals, my bad, and we play against, um, what do you call it, we play against Zenit here, and Zenit are going to be a tough team to go and play against, although I would say, you know, Dortmund would be a little bit tougher to play against, so, you know, if we can beat Dortmund, I have, you know, I have good faith that we'll be able to beat, um, that we'll be able to beat a Zenit. One thing you guys might be curious as to why I'm simulating this game. I simulated this game because, it, in case you guys didn't know this, um, if you simulate games, you'll actually find that um, your player's fitness are so much better off um, for your next game. So, you know, I knew I had a game against Zenit. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to manage my fitness, so I decided to simulate it. And as you can see, the fitness of my squad is much better than what it would have been if I had just played normally, you know? Um, so that's a little tip I suppose you guys can take because the computer really does take the fitness um, into into consideration and really does take care of the players I suppose so that's something to keep in mind if you're really struggling with fitness maybe just simulate a game or two and you guys might find that the the, uh, the fitness of your players is much better but you know I said we'll be able to beat um, Zenit because we beat Borussia Dortmund but unfortunately we went 1-0 down early on and it was all a bit of an uphill battle from there Ericsson though um, manages to bully away one of their center backs and feed it through to him. Uh, we played a nice little 1-2 ball, actually. Ericsson is just, you know, I had Goetze and I had Ericsson. For me, Ericsson is just far, far better, in my personal opinion. Um, we managed to pick up a penalty there. And uh, my penalties at the moment are a little bit iffy, you know. I usually tend to go straight down the middle and just above the keeper's head. It's actually a very much a weak spot when you play online, so I tend to do that offline. But offline, they'll actually predict that a lot of time. You'll see that they actually stay down the middle so often. But Rodrigo completely bullies the defender, and how about that from an own goal? You would have thought I would have played, uh, paid the Zenit player to do that for me. But a 3-1 win away from home is absolutely massive. 
and sets us up really nicely for when Zenit come and visit Ajax. So, you know, we're in a good position and it looks like, you know, when you win away at 3-1, it's, I wouldn't say it's hard to throw away, but it's, you know, you really do have to mess it up if you want to throw away the your sort of uh, chances of going through. So, uh, you know, we were back again. We had a game against Zenit and this time it was at home, Ajax, and I managed to have a, a, all my good players playing, I believe, in this game. So really happy with that. And all I had to do was just make Make sure I didn't lose 3-1. And just as I say that, again, Zenit go ahead and score in the second minute. The second minute. I mean, that is such an early goal. I mean, they came out storming on the front foot. We were caught sleeping a little bit, and they managed to get a goal in the second minute, like I said, through Hulk. And then Witzel plays a ball through, and come on, the own goals we've had. You know, that one at Zenit, where he heads it into his own net, and now um, the one here where we literally kick it into our own net. But we go through 4-3 on aggregate, um, and that was pretty nice to see and it does mean we advance through to the next round of the Champions League I can't believe on my very first um, season with Ajax I've made it all the way to the semi-finals and uh, as you can see Milan do beat Barcelona 2-1 at home but if we remember correctly um, Barcelona beat Milan 3-0 at home when um, they uh, when Barcelona was at Camp Nou um, they beat Milan 3-0 which meant uh, Barcelona would go through and of course Barcelona go through I mean I get to face Barcelona oh my god anyways so I had that game but that game will be next episode guys as I do have a league game coming up here so if you guys are interested in seeing the game in Barcelona uh, game versus Barcelona then do leave a like on this video because it is always much appreciated but like I said you know I had a league game here Rodrigo and Dumbia are just creating for a monster partnership you know it is really cool to see um one comment that I actually saw from someone was um that I always go for the same players and you know I kind of have to disagree with that you mean I, I mean the only player that I have in this particular team that I had in QPR was Gaita I mean you know I never had Dumbia I never had Rodrigo so I do like to think you know I've been swapping it up a little bit here but as you can see Rodrigo is just showing why I purchased him I mean 2-0 and he's, he is just magnificent, guys. If there is a player like that um, that you guys can pick up, then do be sure to give him a go. And holy shit, my center back fires that one into the back of the net. And that was just a huge, huge goal. 3-0 um, up now. Things were cruising, feeling pretty comfortable with it all. And, uh, you know, that's almost a guaranteed three points. Unfortunately, though, my center back doesn't manage to get in front of their attacker. And that's some slightly poor defending. You should always be able to muscle your way in front of the attacker there. But it was wasn't meant to be some uh, some obnoxious step overs there one too many I think um, but you know we were three one up and it was uh, the 64th minute yes they could have won or maybe even gotten one point out of it but I did feel as though the game was going very much in my favor and I wasn't too concerned a really nice change of pace from Dumbia to burst past the defender give him that extra half meter or so that he needed to take a shot and that made it 4-1 and that is a solid victory as you can see both um, the players at the top 8.9 rating for Rodrigo and man of the match for Dumbia very well deserved and this attacking partnership is just working an absolute treat. Regardless, I had the Boney team. And the reason why I call him the Boney team is because Boney is a monster. And this is his team. He runs the show on this team. And I was actually relatively nervous going up against him because I do know he's a solid striker. So whenever he was on the ball, I would always use the B button to call him the second man. Um, I, to any of you guys that are wondering why I use the B button, it's uh, I've actually swapped around um, RB and B on my uh, controller, which means to call the second man, I actually use B instead of RB. So whenever, uh, you know, something like that happens I do just hold the B button and it will just completely pressure out uh, Boney and it will force him uh, you know you most of the time to lose the ball but a really really nice chip through ball and a great finish there to make sure we came away with the three points really happy with that it was a 2-0 win Dumbia picking up the last goal there and a good finish and a well-deserved man of the match from Gaita because he has been playing out of, skin, out of his skin recently guys I hope you've all enjoyed this video and if you have like I said guys the support has just been incredible and I do want to say a huge thank you to everyone everyone so uh you know leaving a like or leaving a comment or both in fact and you know if you're feeling extra saucy a favorite is always appreciated so like i said guys i hope you all have a cracking day and uh, i'll see you all in a little bit bye bye